All right, guys, Nick Drossos, and welcome to another q and I got a question a few months ago as Nick, how do I know I'm being followed in my car and what do I do? And I've never covered this, but before we start, guys, go visit my brand new website, nickdrossos.com. I have real world self-defense safety tips, access to my hero program, brand new fight analysis, tons and tons of content. I upload three videos a week. It's only $10 a month as well if you want to train with me one-on-one -on -one live visit my website nickjoseph.com now what now the reason why i'm making this video because today uh i was driving in the street guy pulled up next to me these two guys they're staring at me i kind of i looked at them they looked at me i drove off and as soon as i saw him i saw him he shifted his car and he started he was behind me i turned left i mean i turned right he turned right i turned left and then right away i was like shit okay right away i'm like am i being followed so right away i, I start being proactive the fight doesn't start the moment you're being attacked. The fight starts the moment you make visual or intuitive contact. So at that very moment, like a game of chess, you gotta start planning what you're gonna do. So what I start doing is, as I go, the best way to know if you're being followed is to actually just do a 360 around a block. So then I went, I turned on a little street, he turned, I went again around, like I'm going around the block, but then he went straight. Now, maybe he was following me, Maybe he wasn't, maybe he was trying to, to intimidate me and he drove off. But at that very moment, I, I, I was aware that he might be following me. So already I'm being proactive and I'm ready to make my move. A lot of that is self-defense as well. It's not only throwing a good strike, it's to be aware of your all your environments all the time. So when I saw him, I felt that kind of like gangster, you know, feel like, challenging when i drove off i saw him move to the side when i went around again was he following me wasn't i don't know but the idea is so if you think you're being followed pick a block and do a 360 if you know you're being followed and he goes around the block 360 chance chances are you're being followed what's the best thing to do from there you can call a friend you could last thing you want to do do not drive out your house if you're gonna drive anywhere, and this is a friend of mine who's who's a PI, drive straight to police station. Go straight to police station and park your car right there, get out and say, somebody's following me, I think somebody's following me. So the other thing you could do is as you're driving, if you know if you're being followed, if I'm at an edge right now and I look like I'm going straight, I'll do a sharp left or a sharp right. If he does it, it's pretty much, you pretty much know he's following you. Again, what you don't wanna do is drive to your house you don't want to get out of the car and ask him, hey, are you following me? Uh, again, those are some, some tips that you could do. So again, when we look at self-defense, guys, it's not only in as much as I'm teaching you guys how to throw a good strike and, 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 and how to defend yourself. It's also about being aware. It's about being proactive. It's about being able to pick up everything around you without being paranoid. I wasn't like, holy shit, this guy's following me there's a fight that's gonna happen I gotta be ready no I'm like okay let me just let me just make sure he's not following me once I know he's following me or once I get that visual or intuitive contact then I start preparing for my next move being prepared for your next move and being proactive is so important when it comes to self-defense because the more prepared you are the faster you could you could act the faster you'll be able to to go preemptive, the faster you'll be able to, you're always a step ahead of him without him knowing that you're a step ahead. That is the entire, that, that is the entire trick. That is the entire key of self-defense. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I kind of went a little bit everywhere, uh, especially like I'm driving, I'm trying to focus at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more self-defense, go visit my website, nickjoseph.com. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stand strong.